Hello there. My name is Ronnie. I'm going to teach you some English. I'm going to teach you some grammar. Yeah. Love grammar. Mm -mm. Grammar is hard, difficult, confusing, nerve wracking. I hope to make this really, really simple for you. Um, I'm going to teach you about conditionals. Now, a lot of people get really mixed up and confused and hate conditionals. I'm here to make it easy for you. In English, we have four conditionals. I'm going to teach you two. These are the easiest, and you'll get them, I promise. Um, conditionals in English always start with if or when. Most of the times, they're going to start with if, but you can also use when. So, the first one I'm going to teach you is zero conditional. Zero conditional, you can think of as something that is always 100% true. Is anything really 100% always true? That's a debate. But if you think of things that I like to call scientific things, things that have been tested and tried, experimented upon, you're going to come to the realization that some things are and will be 100%. Scientific things. Let's look at this first example. If ice melts, it becomes water. Always true. If I have an ice cube and I put it into the sun or I give it heat, this is what melts mean. Melt means it changes from a solid to a liquid state with heat, it changes into water. Unfortunately, it doesn't change into beer, or money, or gold, or chocolate. Ice always will become water. So, if something is 100% scientific, you're going to use a zero conditional. How do you make conditionals? This is the fun part. Um, as I told you, conditionals usually start with if or we can use when. So a zero conditional is if plus the subject plus the base verb. Now it's very important that you do not use any other verb. You can't use a gerund, you can't use past tense, you can't use would, you can't use could. You must use the base verb. So if subject plus base verb, subject plus base verb, Again, this is the basic zero conditional pattern or style of grammar. So if we look at this, I have if my subject is ice and I have melts. Oh, why did I put an S on melts? And why did I put an S on becomes? Does anyone know the answer? The answer is because this is singular. It and ice is singular. If your subject is singular, you need to put an S on the verb 100% of the time. So, if ice, melt, ice, ice. if ice melts, I have a comma, it is my subject, becomes, base verb again, water. Base verb! Can you think of another zero conditional? You can change this and say, um, it becomes water, if ice melts. I can also change the sentences, the sentence order, and it doesn't affect the meaning of the sentence. Um, if I drink 200 shots of tequila, I will be very sick. I might die, but I become sick, violently sick. I don't want to do it, okay? The next one is your beautiful first conditional. I just want you to look at the difference in the composition. Zero conditional is if plus subject, base verb, subject plus base verb again. Take a look at this sentence. If I go to the movies, I will, or you can use may, might, or could, eat popcorn. Is this scientific? If I go to the movies, this means that I have to, 100% of the time, eat popcorn. Not scientific. Some people don't even like popcorn. Or maybe you don't have any money. 
Or maybe you want chocolate instead of popcorn. So, in the first conditional, the basic thing is it is not scientific. It cannot be 100%. But it's things that are probable. It means it likely to happen or most of the time this is true. So most of the time when people go to the movies they eat popcorn. Let's look at the structure of this one. In the zero conditional this is the structure. Can you tell me what's different about the first conditional? We have if plus subject plus base. So this is going to be the same. If plus subject, plus base. Da, 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 da. Then again, we have subject. Uh-oh, 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 what are these guys doing here? Oh, no! These are called modals. The modals in English are will, may, might, and could. In the zero conditional, we do not use a modal. It's bad. So, the only difference in structure between zero and first conditional is first conditional you must use a modal. That's it. Yay! It's so easy. Wow! Okay, so if subject plus base, subject plus modal, and we don't even change the verb, it's the same base verb, plus base. If you have any questions, or if you would like to request a video, go to ingvid.com, and you can do that, and I will answer. I promise.